Deep in the heart of Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport, you'll find a brand new space with top-notch amenities for passengers looking to start their trips before they take off. This is the world's first Capital One Lounge. It's not often that a new lounge, a totally new lounge, opens in the United States. Well, this is the Capital One Lounge, and that's awfully exciting. Cheers, let's check it out. Airport lounges occupy some of the hottest real estate inside terminals these days. Airlines use them to lure premium flyers, and credit card companies use them to sweeten their own offerings. Well, Capital One recently got into the game with the launch of this lounge in Terminal D, near gate D22 at DFW. It coincided with the introduction of a new premium credit card. The entrance is the same as the entrance for the American Airlines flagship lounge. Now, I'm not in the business of selling credit cards and don't have much to say about them other than pay them off every month. But if you do get one of these new premium cards, you'll have access to this space. Now, not every Capital One card grants you access, so check the link below for the latest rules. I'm not sure this lounge alone is a reason to take out a Capital One card, but that's really for you to decide. And since we don't have one of their cards, we paid the fee of $65 per person to get in. Now, let's see if it's worth it. The lounge is open from 6 in the morning to 9 at night and is staffed by some of the friendliest and most welcoming lounge workers I've ever encountered. I'm not sure how Capital One did it, but they've managed to hire one of the most professional and hospitable teams anywhere. The offerings inside this lounge are impressive, from self-serve draft drinks to seemingly unlimited hot food items and an incredible bar with helpful bartenders and interesting craft cocktails. You're not going to go hungry here. But my favorite offering has to be the takeaway food. Given airlines' limited onboard dining options, it's great to have a selection like this available. There's a range of sandwiches and salads. I highly recommend the chicken salad sandwich. It's on point. There are even utensils and bags to make it easier to take away. But that's not it. For the healthy among you, there's a Peloton room with views for days. And for the tired among you, you can reserve one of these sensory deadening sleep pods. There are even showers and a prayer room. This lounge truly has it all. There's plenty of seating. They say every seat has a plug, and that seemed to be true on our visit. And ramp views that rival any you'll find anywhere. We were lucky enough to arrive at breakfast and stay through the turnover to lunch, which occurred around 10.45. We tried the pastries and the coffee, which was decadent. And then I gave the charcuterie, hummus, bibibop a try. All were fresh, flavorful, and filling. Suzanne was pleased with her choices too. Curried lentils. What's inside pot number two? Mac and cheese. We visited the bar and tried a couple of craft cocktails. The menu is innovative and, and really different. Suzanne had the blue bonnet and I tried the don't call me Shirley. The experience inside this lounge is fully appropriate as a spot to kick off a trip. And I mean, isn't that the point of a lounge as a place to step out of the day-to-day -day routine and begin some epic journey? If so, this place nails it. All in, the lounge is great and far better than the typical Admiral's Club lounges in Dallas. Those, as you can see, are much more bare bones than the Capital One lounge. Although I guess really we should compare it to the flagship lounge. Anyway, the staff in here are spectacular. They made this trip feel truly special and really elevated the airport lounge experience to what I really think it should be, a really special moment. In addition to this lounge in Dallas, it seems like Capital One is leaning heavily into the letter D with locations coming soon to Denver and Dulles. As for whether it's worth $65, well, to us, it was. We got the equivalent of two full meals per person, including one to go. Barista made coffee, 
craft cocktails on demand. We could have even added a workout, but who am I kidding? It was a travel day. But how about you? Do you think this Capital One Lounge is worth $65? Let us know in the comments below. Well, that, as far as I'm concerned, is a five-star lounge. Thanks for watching, and between now and the next time, see you in the lounge.